watching. I welcome you to our program called Nikwanema. I know you have been a blessing to us. May the Lord bless you also for your prayers and supplications that you have been making for us. God has been answering. And that's why I'm so happy to appreciate you so much together in the entire church. Today, we have all the communion. And I know this message, I have preached it for many days. And I know you know much about Holy Communion. We are going to read the word in the book of 1 Corinthians. The 11th chapter, verse number 23. The 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 23, down the mat. For I received from the Lord that which also I deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken. For you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the car after supper, saying, This car is the new covenant in my blood. This, too, as often, often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this car, you proclaim the Lord's dead till he comes. Pacific 7. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilt for the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and the soul let him eat of the blood and the drink of the cup. May the Lord bless his word. Holy communion means eating and uh, means eating together to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is a reflection of Christ's sacrifice and looking forward to his return. So it means a lot for the church of Jesus Christ. But many churches they don't do it. And also it has its importance for the church. Because it makes the church to be ready for his coming. Because we remember his death and the resurrection, how it happened for our salvation. When we do it for the communion, all the time we remember the death and the resurrection about Jesus Christ. So in the church, it means a lot for our salvation. All the time, it will make you to eat sin to eight iniquities and all transgressions. When you will do it, 
Praise the Lord. It is one way of honoring God's word because he said, do this in remembrance of me. All the time when we do Holy Communion, we honor the word of God. We honor the law of God. Because he said, do this for the remembrance of me. The other importance about Holy Communion, it brings people together and they have a strong fellowship in the body of Jesus Christ. It brings men together. It brings women together. And the body of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. It brings a strong fellowship. For example, there are churches which do it lentularly. Even if you are sick, they will do it for you. When you are in the hospital, they will come to the hospital to do it for you. Even if there is a barrier, you will meet them doing it there. When they meet in fellowship, you will see them doing it. And then when you look upon his or her fellowship, they are very strong in oneness. They are very strong in unity. They are very strong in unity and oneness. Why? Because of only communion. It brings people together and having strong fellowship. Praise the Lord. When we do Holy Communion, it reminds the church where they are supposed to, where they are supposed to be doing. Doing the work of God, eating what is abomination, doing the right things all the time. So it is very important to do it as a church. Praise the Lord. And they remember this all the time when we do it. We examine ourselves. We come back to ourselves. If you have been doing wrong, if you are always are not right with God, you rectify. You rectify. So it is so important to, to the church. Because you rectify. If you have sinned, you repent. If you have done iniquity or transgressions, you go back to the Lord in a way of the attendance. Praise the Lord. When we come to the bread, when we come to the bread, like this one I'm holding, this one, it represents the body of Jesus Christ. It is the bread. But you pray. Believing. It will represent the body of Jesus Christ. Because in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 33, down to 35, Jesus himself said, Yes, that is the bread of life. He is the bread of life. So when we partake of it, 
This one gives the world the life, gives the world life. Because the bread contains many things in it. So brings the life to the world. Brings life to the church. Praise the Lord. This bread also it it renews it renews our spiritual life as you partake it. It gives the church healthy and it makes the church to be strong in the spirit. When we take or when we partake of it, it also revives brethren's spiritual eyes. This bread it reminds us that Jesus Christ was was being broken for the supreme sacrifice for our sins. It happened because of our lives. It was being broken for our lives. When we call upon him, he does for us. Praise the Lord. When we come to the cup, this one it will present the blood of a new covenant. When we read the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse number 21. When we come to the blood of Jesus, it was shed for the remission of our sins. It was for our sanctification. Praise the Lord. So when today we are partaking of it, we are going to partake it as, as one way of uh, being uh, one way of sanctification. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus was eternal payment for our sins. This cup of grave joys, as you are going to partake of it, it makes the church to be worthy. When we take it in the right manner, because many of us, we take it just anyhow. When we take it anyhow, it will be meaningless to us. It will do nothing to us. But when we take it in a worthy manner, there are some, there are some things that are going to happen to us. Both spiritual and also physical. Praise the Lord. So church, as we are going to partake of it, let us know that there will be a great change in our spiritual life and also in our physical life. There was something I was praying this week because of this Holy Communion that today as we are going to partake in that the Lord is going to change the church that the, God, that the Lord is going to encourage the church in times of discouragement in times of the, uh, discouragement and oppressions when we are going to partake of it it was my prayer that the Lord gonna make the child to be bold in spiritual and also physical and I know today something gonna take place in this church people have been defeated in the prayers and when we announce the prayers, very few people 
who we will attend. But from today, I believe in the name of Jesus. As you are going to partake of it, there will be a great change. People they will be praying than ever before. People will be praying than ever before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People they will be reading the word than ever before. People they will be encouraged to do the work of God. Praise the Lord. People they will be reading the word of God. That is my faith and my prayer. As you are going to partake of it. People will be encouraged. To walk rightly with God. To know what is right. Sin, abomination and all evils. Will never be tackled to the church. So I beseech you my brothers and my sisters. As you are going to partake of it. Believe in your life. That something is going to take place in your life. Many years you have been taking normality. We have been doing it regularly. But normality. But from today. Let us have faith in Holy Communion. Why people are running to Mombasa? Why people are running to Mombasa? It is because of Holy Communion. You can believe something through it and get and can happen. You are sick in your body. You can believe when we are going to partake of it. You can receive your healing. Maybe you are sick in your body. When you partake of it, believing in it, Jesus Christ is going to heal you. Praise the Lord. We have been leaning in one channel. I'm saying we have been believing in one channel. That is all about prayers. If you have not been laid your laid hand on you, nothing can happen to you. Maybe today there is nobody who gonna lay hand on you. But we are going to believe in this holy communion. And I believe miracles, signs, and the wonders gonna take place in the church. Hallelujah. There are some women here. They don't receive their MP. You have been prayed for many years. Why can't you believe in this holy communion? In the monthly period for your welcome. It is good to believe. Not to lean on one channel. Praise the Lord. Maybe you have a problem in your family. I'm saying maybe you have a problem in your family. There are so many disputes in your family. Why can't you believe through this holy communion? God that gonna change everything in your family. That God gonna change those disputes. And the peace comes in abundance over your marriage. This is all about the faith. Maybe there are some people who have been rejected from their home place. And also where they are working, people are also rejecting them. Also where you are living, also people there, they are rejecting you also. Why can't you believe in this Holy Communion? And the God gonna remove that rejection spirit in you. So long you have faith in Him. 
the problem that the judge is suffering is all about the faith. Preachings are everywhere. In the radio, television, and wherever. But the people, they are lacking faith. It is why people are lying from one place to another. Seeking help. But my brother, my sister, if you can believe you are God, you are Lord. He can, he can do for you. I'm saying today we are going to believe through this Holy Communion. And if God is going to do something for the church. Praise the Lord. There are so many people who are having fights in their marriages. If you can believe today, the spirit, the spirit that is operating in your marriage can be destroyed. Praise the Lord. There are also other people here. They have no work. They have been going one place to another. Seeking for a job. If today you can believe my brother, my sister. Through this Holy Communion. God gonna bless you. God can bless you. He can give you a work. And the mad thing is going to happen to your life. Praise the Lord. I know I'm, I'm talking with the people. How many of us are desperate in life? Oh, one are so desperate. Are so pressed by the devil. But my brother, my sister. If you can raise up your faith, you can do whatever you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you can believe in any case of the problem that you are going through. And God can do for you. It's all about the faith. There are some people here. Their businesses are not operating well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can believe something big, not small, small things. Because there is a prayer that I'm making. And I'm believing God going to do it soon. There are people here who will be having supermarkets. There are some people who will be having their companies here. There are people who will be doing a great business. International businesses. Outside the country. Outside our nation. If you believe, can you say a big amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why can't we believe in God? For big things.